I, I really want to thank you, Mr. Fine, for meeting with me. Don't mention it, kid. I'm a free agent now. Well, as you can see, due to the stress in my private life, I put on some weight. Well, look, let me tell you one thing, first of all. Fat is funny. Look what it did for Kylie. Well, and another thing, I'm really concerned about getting a, a wider audience. You and your, your ex-partner seem to have entertained a lot more people than I have with my movies. Well, your, your films are too cerebral, Woody. You gotta lighten up. People want slapstick. They want to laugh. They want to be entertained. They don't want to be thinking about death. Look, let me give you an example. Hit that. See? That's funny, right? But now let me give you another lesson in comedy. Right away, it's very easy. Pick two. You mean the duality of life and death? Duality, schmuality. Pick two. See? Now that's funny. Now listen, I'm telling you, stick with me and you're gonna go a long way. That's my Uncle Max. He uh, hey, got a little bit of a sinus problem there. He's taking... Taught me everything I know about <laughs> carpentry. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm Joe Lorario. And I'm... Right. Right. Ed Feldman. That one, right. I Same guy on I the titles. I'm ha I just had a, a series of minor strokes we, during the credits. Remember on the last show that we did, we distressed these two pieces of furniture. Um, this one we burned with the acetylene torch. And a little bit butane also. And some butane also. A little too dark. We're going to fix all that up. This is the one we beat the heck out of. Oh, the... The living and crud out. We haven't touched it in, in like a whole long period of time. Right. But we let it cure. Over here, you can see that. It's all hairy, all the hairy fibers there. Hairy fibers. Hairy fibers. He had a, five beagles and a weasel uh -huh. act. Played Still the from great major bar. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa. But first... Always wear your dust mask when you're going to sand. Unless you have a TV show. <laughs> I got two inches all over me. But look... It gets nice and smooth. Oh, Look, this is lie. It's Red Devil lie. You know, just as an aside, when I was a kid, the Red Devil products used to have that little oh. circle with the, 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 the devil with the, the scowl and the big, and he's real spooky, you know? And now, it's, everything's cute. Look, he's leaning on a pitchfork and he's smiling. I think George Lucas has got something but to I do digress. with this. George? I digress. I digress. It's lie, it's sodium hydroxide. It's not safe, it's the active ingredient. In Drano, you gotta most wear drain cleaners. You, you gotta wear a respirator. And you should wear long sleeve shirts. Well, that's what I got here. And goggles. But See? to tell the truth, it's not as dangerous as a lot of the methylene chloride strippers. But you know, uh, furniture finishers have been using lye to color and to strip wood for many, many years. Seems I've heard this somewhere before. Not the Playtex long line, but the Dr. No gloves. See what it's done to the. Uh... The stick? Yeah, it's turned it a color. You can age wood with it, and that's what we're going to do on our pine settle. Watch this. It's a one-person job. I'm not going to be spritzed. Lots of uses for lye. When you're done with the lye, you can pour it down the toilet or drain it. It will clean your drains out. And I used to use this to conk my hair with it. Sure. To make it more like the white man. Back in the but 70s. But I don't do that anymore. Back in the 70s. That's lie. No lie. And it's going to honey. It's going to age. This pine would turn that color in about a year or two anyway if you just put a clear shellac or any kind of a clear top coat on it. But who has time? We're going to be canceled in any minute. And this is our second step. After that Pew Show. After the Pew Show, of course. What? The National Council of Christians and Jews have finally gotten together to beat the heck out of us in an alley. The top she is a scorched from and last time. We got it nice and dark, and now it's time to use the wire brush. Does it work? Ah, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, God bless whoever said that. And this will pull off a lot of the scorching. But you got to wear a dust mask, or all that scorching will go up into your nasals. See what happens here? There's a nice color. But shouldn't you go all the way across in one fell swoop? And you can do this as much as you want until it gets the color you want. Follow with a regular scrub brush. Be even now. 
Or you'll get light spots, dark spots. I had a dog named Light Spot. Oh, it's been a long season. <laughs> Never again 26 in a row. We buried three producers this year. What are you talking about? This is the best job we ever had. You got it. Pick up a tool for 20 minutes a day. Not like lugging block around for eight hours and getting paid $5 an hour. You got $5 an hour on that job? No, that job I got seven. You did too, and we were tying steel. Serious? Yeah. The one I got fired he, he from? Yeah, well, you got fired. Yeah, Something you about the boss's wife and a Motel 6, but uh -huh, you know? Sure. Not at all to do with the fact that he just didn't like you. He hated me. But now he likes you. Because I'm famous. He invites me to his house for lunch. We call it the Hollywood turnaround, friends. The now? people who didn't want to know you, now they say, Ed, how are you? Boy, I was always your friend. But now he won't uh, talk to you. Once he, once he sees this. Oh, right. Well, I don't care. I never liked him. Wait a minute, you have to show me how light yours is getting because I don't want mine to be any darker. Well, like that. That's about right. It's all right, now, the top could be darker. Now I'll do the door. This is like a glockenspiel on the Mummer's Parade. Uh. Hey, what are you doing up there? I'm doing the balancing act. Hey, now we have to neutralize because Lie, as you all know, is sodium hydroxide. You said that already at the top of the scene. Oh, shut up. Uh, and you have to neutralize. Up, eh? Yeah. Oh, shut yeah? up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, infinity. Mm-hmm. And so we have to neutralize with an acid, which is the exact opposite, as all you chemists know. So you use white vinegar. White vinegar, and our whole shop smells like a hoagie. Oh, yeah. They've got a deli counter over there. So this will neutralize You could also use everything. lemon juice, too. You could, but... But you'd have to squeeze a lot of lemons. All day. But if you got that little juicy, you could put it right into the lemon. Oh, that's great. And then you just get a cramp. That's all. Those are the things they sell at home shows for a dollar that come with the nine knives. By the way, you people go to home shows, want to buy something? You're going to tell them not to buy something at a home show because they pack up and they leave? Well, <laughs> if you come back the next week to return it because it doesn't work, it's a car show now. <laughs> So, it's a yacht yeah. show. I bought this here. Sorry, buddy, we're only selling yachts. Yachts today. <laughs> but the guy was selling the Miracle and Knife you know right on this corner. You know who's going to be appearing at the yacht show? What? Steve Thomas? <laughs> yeah, because he's a million, millionaire yachtsman. Whoa! One finger. Now, after this, we're going to have to take it one, a couple more steps. Are we going to show that? I forget. Did I miss another meeting? We got to do this vinegar wash and then do another wash with just water. Speaking of wash, I gotta wash my underwear. Go ahead, goodbye. Ah, uh, the torches have given us such good color and, and the wire pretty. brushing has taken away some of that color. But it's still like this, see that? And you gotta seal it now. And what are we gonna use? Horse hair. Wrong. No, what are we gonna use? Hey man, spit coat. Ah, that's right, that's now you battle. Got it. Here's the spit. Now this is a little more, this is like three to one. Three coats, three parts of uh, alcohol, one part of shellac. And orange shellac. Looks a pretty. The scorched look. The very antique scorched right. look. The German army used to use this kind of finish all the time. <laughs> we call this our Project Barbarossa. There you go. You do the whole piece like this. I find this a fascinating finish. Yeah. Because you can have marshmallows and finish at the same time. No, they shouldn't do marshmallows with acetylene torch. No, it'll For just... that, they should use napalm. Well, if you get a lot of marshmallows and you use the torch, then you can make fluff. <laughs> That's... Is that what we were doing in Nam all those years? Making fluff. Making a, a country of fluff. Let's do the front here. Remember the Lieutenant Cali interview? Uh -huh. And fluff, and fluff. After this, of course, every time you use the spit coat, 
Afterwards, what do you have to do? Put a sweater on. You have to, uh, well, aren't we going to sand a bit? We're going to sand a bit and then varnish. But after you sand, what do you always do? Oh, you tack rag. Tack rag. There's always one of them that gets really excited and just keeps saying it after <laughs> everyone rag, else stops. Tack rag. Oh, yeah. I've got airtime. I've got airtime. Uh, the rare, rare use for this stuff. Look at this, yeah. With the, these people, they don't, red man. It's chewing tobacco. That's about all this is good for is making a stain. Yeah. They, they don't offend any, they, they own nothing so we can offend them, right? So the rare product that is both racist and kills you. Red man plug tobacco. It's horrible. <laughs> I smoke Oive cigarillos. <laughs> Not a fetch and a carload. <laughs> now what we did was we put this into a pot and with some water and we just boiled it for a long time. Boiled it. And this is what you get. You get a stuff that looks like yeah, this. Yeah, you gotta boil it a long time and then you reduce it and So everything. just remember when you're smoking this, when you're chewing this rather, all that liquid, it's going down. And even though you spit it out, it's still going down. So don't use it. Your lungs will soon look like this. And you just paint this on. This is what we call a au natural stain. Now you may see this band down here, which is orange. I, because that's end grain, I coated that with some straight from the can shellac so that the, uh, the stain would not penetrate as much. But this we just paint on and you get the whole place messed up. And the dark stain will go right into all the nooks and crannies that have been created by the rocks and whatever the heck else it was. And while you're at it, do the whole floor. I had some Methodist mints the other night. <laughs> <laughs> Baptist bath salts. Ooh. Filthy Belgian chocolates. Then you got Gavon <laughs> greeting cards. <laughs> Gavon greeting cards. <laughs> Gavon Cafe. It smells good too. Coffee with a little roughness. And don't forget, at the bottom of this, we're going to have to paint a warning. Chewing this settle may cause mouth cancer. Ah, touch up. Touch up and paint. Look at this here. It's a white line. The thin white line with Tyrone Power. <laughs> That's the long gray line. Never mind. That's where the, the flame couldn't get in there. The blowtorch blue couldn't get in there. So you, what do you? So using? I'm going to use a little bit of dark pig. What is this? Van Dyke Brown? Of course. Of course it is. What else do we use on this show? I, I like Amsterdam yellow and rosemary pink. <laughs> it comes with a ribbon. <laughs> I'm just going to take the artist brush and just slump it in there like that and then wipe it off, blend it right in. Nobody oh, it knows. looks beautiful. I'll come around to the front and do another one. And we'll wipe some of that excess off there. I get it. Wipe that off. There we go. Over here now, painting this panel. See, it was like the same thing with the panel. Like the torch wouldn't get in here. This was plywood. So we couldn't get uh, the torch in there. It would bubble the plywood. So we're going to use. Like you did on that other piece other of wood one, that yeah. we didn't show you. So we'll get this in here. Let's cut down this edge here. Bob Dole can't do this. When I'm elected, I'll be 90. And I'll be good for this country. Because you'll course, all feel younger than I. And I'll outlaw all colors of paint. I'm rested, I'm ready, and I'm so boring. There we go. Let's just fill it in. Did you hear I got the new board game, President Buchanan? <laughs> no matter what, what square you land on, you're either dead or thrown in jail. For life. <laughs> dun, 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 You're no David Clayton <laughs> Thomas, I can tell you his that. His true great head spinning hey. wheel. You've dun, seen the dun, auto dun, show? Dun, well, this dun, is the furniture show. Dun, Enjoy dun, the luxury. Dun, 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 Longer, dun, roomier, dun, wider, dun, the two-seater settle. Look, it's got an aniline dye on it somewhere that it. we didn't tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah, it's just the tobacco. So why are you spraying shellac, my friend? Because. 
because it's <laughs> to fun? Show, to show variety. Right. So just uh, in theory, if we had put any aniline dye in with the uh, tobacco that didn't work because it was just tobacco, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't just brush shellac no, see, on. We'd have to spray it on. What happened was because it was... Uh, tobacco, right. we'd have to apply about six different coats of the tobacco juice to make it dark. So we cheated by putting some aniline dye into it. And you can't brush shellac or over aniline dye because it'll bring it up because they're both alcohol based. We're varnishing the hunt board. We got, and we're using the semi-gloss furniture var varnish. And uh, it's had at least three coats of uh, shellac applied, and it was sanded down. And you can see how pretty that what color that it renders. And this is, gonna, this is gonna affect the finish in a glossy fashion. And with this varnish on, it'll be protected for anything that you make. Remember may how careful you here. used to varnish when we first did these shows? I still do that. No, it's not the same. Yeah. You do it much, you're still doing it good, but back then, so you were like, uh, Mike Angelo. As I said then, you just get this all, you slap it all over the place. And then you smooth it out with the bristles. That's what I'm gonna do, look. Get it all on here. All right. And what that does, it evens out the... Now we'll go. The Whoa. surface. Whoa. Everybody make airplane noises. See, because this is landing, taking off. I've had quite enough of that. This is the basic technique of varnishing. Use it well. Go in peace. The show is ended. Take the finger. Run it up there. Now lick it. How come they call it a hunt board anyway? I had something to do with sea hunt, I think. Sea hunt. What was his job exactly? His job was whispering. Mike Nelson. Because every time he went down, he, all, all you heard was a whisper. And you know, he was down there saying, my son looks like Bo. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bo could never die because his eyebrows kept bringing him back to the surface. Said, I got to get out of here. <laughs> I brought somebody into the world that looks like Bo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love Bo. And the incident, it was a great. With Ed McMahon. Ed McMahon and uh, Tony, Tony Musante. Musante. Well, it's near the end of the day, and you got to do something to just keep your mind on your work, and sometimes this is what we do. They're called character faces. And this is called furniture-grade varnish. This is a semi-gloss furniture varnish. It's a crystal varnish. See, it's kind of like opaque. It's not clear and amber like the amber varnishes or the spar varnishes, which are only for outdoor materials. Now you're confusing them. Uh-huh. However... It's my aim is to confuse all the time. However, if you're going to put this outside, and this would be a nice little piece for outside. The trash man will take it right away. <laughs> Stop it. You would want to put an outdoor varnish on it or a water locks type product. They would tie it right to the front of the truck. Is that just something that's common to Philadelphia? I don't know. Tie in like teddy bears to the front of the trash truck? Or... People from all over the country and the world, please send us pictures of what your trash men tie to the front of their trucks. And do they come knocking at your door, come around Christmas time saying, Donations? Because that's illegal. Illegal? It's illegal. I just give them a bottle of rye and be done with it. Now, once this varnish has been applied and left to dry, you can, in fact, sand it down lightly and wax it if you like. Or you can just let it rot in the stable. <laughs> if you have Hey, but that's distressing. We were going to distress it that way by putting various cow excrements uh -uh. on top of it. Cow, uh-uh. You know, it will do that. That's an old... Uh, antique restorer's fake kind of trick, you would take it to a stable and bury it actually in a uh, horse e e e e poopy and uh, manure. the actual ammonia content and it would actually darken the wood. Really? And, that and that's why a lot of you people who say, I got a floor and I got a cat and the cat likes to wee wee there. It's okay. You're just adding to the charm of the piece. As we always say. And now, of course, something very important. I win. I uh, no, no, no I, I won fair won. and square, uh, you punk, you. There you go. Dear guys, you're so fortunate that you can do the things you know best, talk about the things you really enjoy. 
<laughs> I don't understand the, you any don't of hear, the letters. You don't hear any of that on this show. The last thing I think was Oldsmobile. Well, that we enjoyed. I watched. Oldsmobile, Coastal, and William Hoden. I really do enjoy watching you guys and pick up info, uh, such as stain and varnish in gel form. <laughs> My local paint store man never heard of it. Good, it stinks. Because I enjoy working with wood finishes, it's a joy to see you create blah, 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 fawn, fawn, lick, lick, lick. Question for you. I developed a black ring. Better have that removed. On my dining room table because I had a metal planter on it that leaked and the stain went right through the finish. Furni a furniture man told me. <laughs> a furniture man. That was his name, Art Furn A Furniture Man. Art a furniture, furniture man. man said I could have this whole tabletop stripped and refinished for 300 Good can, price. Can you think of any way to get the ring out short of redoing the whole top? No. Okay. Pay him the money. It's a good price. Here's one from uh, Hoot Gibson. John Hoot John Gibson. Hoot Gibson. Not a, the original Hoot He's Gibson. a stunt. I enjoy watching your program. I've learned a great deal from your tips on mending and refinishing furniture, some of which I use on the job. I am John Gibson, a professional stuntman coordinator, specializes in a variety of stunt gags which are performed for motion pictures, commercials, television projects. And here you see a picture of him on your TV screen. <laughs> he's being dragged he's from a car. Dragged from a car. It seems like an old Mazda or maybe even a Vega. But the, I love the resume here. Look. Fire, partial full burns, explosions, <laughs> high falls, car drag, friction pull at 80 miles per hour, drops and transfers, roof running, leaps while driving, brawls, weapons, breakaways. Nails through the eyes, cost extra. <laughs> Building height, 15 stories, water height. Thanks, John. <laughs> Let's get him. I want to kill him. <laughs> Does he work for free? You're going to tilt. This is a new pinball. It's called Scorcho. Wasn't that the sixth? Mark's brother? Right after Gummo. Went to jail for arson, didn't he? Gummo was in real estate, you know. Yeah, but Scorcho <laughs> went up the river. This is the settle. And as the camera plays along the bench, you'll see what the implements of destruction hath wrought upon it, Mr. Morse. Lots of watch fobs, I think, did that to the seat. And here you see the sideboard or the buffet, and it was scorched with the acetylene, and then wire brushed, and then shellac, and, and then, then varnished. varnished. Oh, it's great. Here's the before. Oh, not much to look at there. End of the last roundup, Roy. The after. So much more brown in it now. Lots of brown. Lots of, we use a lot of brown here. So until next time, when we meet again, or, I am Rowdy Yates. Uh, well, I am Will Hutchins. Be nice to your, to your heifer. Ponderosa. Your heifer. <laughs> your furniture. <laughs> Coming up next. Bob Vila's home again. Join Mr. Fix-It himself for two back-to-back -back shows, adding contemporary convenience to antique homes, maintaining the class and charm. Stay with us here on TLC.